In this video, I'm going to show you some basic tips and tricks for the 1176 Classic Limiter Plugins Collection for the U82 platform. I'll start with a quick overview of the controls for each 1176, then jump right in with a few examples that can easily be put to use in any mix. The input knob on all 1176 units is used to adjust the amount of signal entering the device while simultaneously setting the threshold level, which is the point where the compression kicks in. The output knobs adjust the overall signal leaving the 1176s. Any gain that is lost during gain reduction and compression can be made up for by turning up the output knob. The attack controls set the time it takes the 1176's compression to respond to the incoming signal. With the 1176AE, there's also a fixed 10 millisecond super slow attack time. Conversely, the release controls set the time it takes for the 1176's to return to their original signal levels. Note that the attack and release controls of the 1176 work in the opposite direction of many other compressors. In other words, turning the knobs toward their higher values actually shortens attack and release times. The four ratio buttons on the left of the meter are used to set the degree of compression. Lower ratios, 4 to 1 and 8 to 1 for compression, and higher ratios, 12 to 1 and 20 to 1 for limiting. And exclusive to the 1176AE, there's an even lower 2 to 1 ratio for a smooth, soft knee compression that's perfect for vocals. A wide range of multi-button ratio combinations possible with the hardware are now also possible with the 1176 Classic Limiter plugins, including the famous All Button Sound, which I'll cover in the examples. The four buttons on the right set the various metering methods. When set to GR, the VU meter indicates the gain reduction level in dB. This is effectively showing you how much the 1176 compressor circuitry is working. When set to plus 8 or plus 4, the VU meter indicates the output level in dB. When the off switch is engaged, the plug-in is disabled. The first tip I'm going to show demonstrates how the 1176AE's slow attack setting works great for adding punch to source material by letting more transient through before shaping the instrument's remaining signal. Start by turning the attack control all the way counterclockwise to 6 o'clock or simply click on the slow text below the attack knob. Next, raise the release knob to achieve the desired effect. In this example, I'm turning it all the way up to its fastest release setting. This next tip demonstrates the famous All Buttons mode. Engineers typically use this setting for drums or on room mics. It can also be used to make a bass or guitar sound dirty or for putting vocals in your face. In All Buttons mode, which is also sometimes known as British mode, compression distortion increases radically. Engage All Buttons by holding in the Shift key and pressing the top and bottom ratio buttons. Next, adjust your attack and release settings to taste or as the tempo of the song dictates. For this example, I'll use a medium attack with the fastest release setting. Another simple 1176 trick is turning the attack and release controls all the way up to their fastest settings. This has the audible effect of adding compression distortion to the audio source and is especially pronounced in all buttons mode. What happens here is the attack and release are happening so fast that minute level fluctuations sound like distortion. It can add a very useful, gritty compression effect. This setting is especially useful on bass, where compression and distortion might be needed at the same time and the 1176 can provide both in a unique way. Simply engage all buttons mode by holding in the shift key 
and pressing the top and bottom ratio buttons and turn the attack and release knobs all the way up. The last trick I'm going to demonstrate is how to add the unique color of an 1176 to tracks without using any compression. This effect is particularly effective on direct recorded guitar tracks, but works great for any source that might benefit from the unique character and distortion of the 1176's input and output amplifiers. First, disengage compression by holding in the shift key and clicking on the currently selected ratio or by simply clicking the off text below the attack knob. Next, adjust your input and output level knobs to taste to achieve the desired amount of distortion and overall signal level. Hopefully these simple tips will help you get off and running with the 1176 Classic Limiter Collection plugins. Of course, experimentation with the various controls, especially attack, release, ratio button combinations, is always recommended. <laughs>